in high school football, Scotland County will host Schuyler County in a rare Thursday night game. Scotland County has stepped it up at the end of the year, and it's been a total team effort. At each Friday night, we've had kind of a different star of the game. Uh, Drew Miller had a big night the other night against Knox. Uh, Layden Holtz had a good running games. Uh, Harley Stone, Brock, uh, um, you, you name it. Uh, each Friday night could be a, a different hero. Knox County will hit the road to face North Shelby, and the Eagles' game plan is simple. We just had to come out and play football. Um, our coaching staff, we all got together, and we decided we needed to simplify uh, all the stuff we've done or that we're going to do this year. And you guys just need to go out there, fly around, and play football, and hopefully we get back to our winning ways. I'd pay money to watch Friday's Macon Brookfield matchup. Big games are why you play football in the first place. Yeah, we're at that time of year when certainly, you know, you, you think back to those long, hard days in the weight room and those two-a-day practices and all that, and this is what it's for. It's payday time, and our, our kids are extremely excited about the opportunity. On the sidelines Friday, it will be youth against experience. Sigourney Kyoto coach Jerry Jensen is in his first year coaching, while Albia's Jerry Staten is in his 48th. You want to respect those type of guys. I mean, he's always done things and he's always done it right. I've only met him once. He, he's a great guy. Just from meeting him that one time, you can tell what type of personality he has. If you just treat people decently, you earn that respect. And I hope that I've been able to do that. He's a, he's a bright young man. He's a good coach. And he's, a, he's on the threshold of his career. And I'm kind of on the other end. In college football, there are certain players who are always around the ball. That applies to Truman State's Richie Schumacher, who leads the team in tackles with 81. 13 of them came last week against Missouri Southern. He's been a real warrior for us, Fred. He's a uh, practice extremely hard, an intense football player, and you're throwing around 70s. He's a throwback uh, type guy. He could play in a lot of different eras. Uh, he's a great bulldog. Missouri quarterback James Franklin threw for 289 yards and ran for 84 more against Iowa State last week. He will need to duplicate that performance against Oklahoma State. Did a lot of good things in that game. Wow. I mean, real impressive. You know, we kept him at the very end just trying to get a couple other throws in, and, and we, we, we dropped two, I think. But hit one time, I think, going at the end of the third quarter, it was 20 of 20, 20, 24. Crooksville High School wrestler Austin Roper is ranked 11th in the nation at 132 pounds, a two-time Missouri State champ. Had a great summer competing in meets and working out two or three times a day. And all that hard work has been recognized. Oh, yeah. You know, you put in a lot of time and, uh, you know, all those things just uh, give you extra motivation. And it's just, you know, makes you... Work, you know, makes all the work you've put in worth it.